The select element is part of those elements that are not that easy to style. But don't worry because in today's video I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is my index.html file. I've linked all the style sheets I need. Okay, from awesome to the icon and then the main CSS. Here I've got a div, a container for my select element and all the options. And of course, uh, I gave this a class select container and this a class select box, okay? This is what we've got so far, because of course, this is the default one. And if you go to the main CSS, we've got just the body padding, which is something that you don't need to copy, okay? This is just to make things easier to show you, okay? First of all, let's start styling the select container with display flex, justify content, center, then position relative, because we're gonna need that later on, mean width, 250 pixels, height, 50 pixels. Okay, then select box, select box, border, none. Then appearance, none, which is really, really important because it's used to deactivate the default system level styling. Then the padding, 0, 30 pixels, 0, 15 pixels. Then the width, 100%, because I wanted to cover, to stretch and cover the whole select container. Then the color, I'm gonna give it white. Then the background color, this nice color here. And then of course the font size, 20 pixels. Of course, these are all things that you can change, okay? So as you can see, that's already looking so much better. Okay, now we need to add the icon. Okay, so we need to add something here. Of course, this is the way I've decided to use and other people might use different ways. And of course, all of them are fine because you know, this is the beauty of programming, the same result using different methods. I've decided to use a div with a class icon container. Okay, and inside of this, the font awesome icon. I've decided to use the div instead of just having this because in my opinion, it looks a little bit nicer, but at the same time, later, I'm going to show you how you can use a real, you know, SVG file. Of course, because sometimes you just need, you know, one icon and you don't want to download the whole style sheet. So as you can see, if I save it, you see the little icon there. So now we need to style that. Select container icon container with 50 pixels, height, 100%, position absolute. Okay, this is why we've set position relative then right, zero, display flex. And then we want the icon to be centered. So align items, center, justify content, center. Okay, so if we save that, it's already looking so much better. Of course, we want to style the icon as well. So icon container, I, as this is a font awesome icon, you can use font size and you can even use color, which in my opinion is great because you can change color. You can even use, you know, CSS variables to change color here, 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 if you want to, to change dark theme or whatever. And here you've got your select box. And as I said, if you wanted to change it to black, you could do that. As you can see, you've got your black Okay, another thing you, you could do to make things a little bit different, you could add a background color, something like that. Okay, as you can see, that's really, really cool. I really, really like it actually. And one thing I wanted to show you, if you set a light color here, the browser automatically uses a light background for the options. But if you set, let's duplicate that, come this out, let's actually change it to a darker blue. As you can see, if you select, you've got dark background for the options, which is kind of cool in my opinion. So let's switch back to this. Okay. So the cool thing about this is that we've used classes because you can actually copy this, paste it here. And as you can see, you've got two boxes. Of course, you could do something like margin bottom, just to show you to be nicer. Okay. And this one, I'm going to use an image. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to use the image and then CSS, carry down solid, which is the SVG I've downloaded. So you can just use this one instead of having to download the whole font awesome style sheet. If you save that, you can see that you've got a really, really 
big icon and that's also black because that's the SVG, the color of the SVG. And if you go here, you need to style the image. You can do something like width, 20 pixels by that, okay? Of course, you can see that because that's dark and that's the disadvantage of using the SVG instead of the Font Awesome style sheet because the color of this could be changed whenever you want. This, you need to, you know, save the SVG in a different color and then use it. Of course, if you need it for, for a website and you've got just one color in mind, you just download the, the SVG with the right color and that's it. But if you maybe want to change theme or whatever, this is so much better. Okay, so just be aware of that. And as you can see, as we've used a div, this is always centered. So if we change the height maybe to 90, as you can see, this is centered, always centered. Okay, so this is really, really cool. Let's go back here. And now you should definitely check out the video you see on the screen because if you're still watching, that means that you really, really want to learn.